shoe. <laughs> now then. Um, Don't leave the Klinsky Sable brush in the pot resting on the bottom. That's just silly behaviour. Just have to touch up a little bit here on these gloves, I've noticed. Sometimes as it dries it shrinks a little bit. Or what you think is covered isn't quite covered and as it's dry you can tell I don't know whether that's the re one of those reasons is fine. <laughs> right there we are. So we're looking at washes. The wash I've picked for the skin is ever been to green tone. So I'll give it a shake, open up and place it on here. And then we can get a decent sized brush. Put it to one side and go over with the green. In fact, I'm going over with everything. It's going over everything. I don't care. <laughs> that is the way I'm working with this one. So we had a, everything with a green with a red wash on the uh, goblins. Now this one, it all has a green wash. I could have used. Kelia Green Shade or Built on Green, but I've not used much in the line of Hermit Paints paints in these videos, so I thought, what the heck, dig them out. I need to put some more on. So we are going to have a nice couple of teams ready to play with and as such it just means we, uh, we can get to checking on the rules, watching a few gameplay videos and then once we feel comfortable with it, we can sit down at the table and have a game. So we'll give them a wash. Um, so don't be too pedantic about this, slap the wash on, allow it to get into the recesses of the mini. And believe me, there are a few recesses it can get into. Um, you can see I'm trying not to allow it to get onto the bottom of the shoe because. Um, realize you may not be able to see what I'm doing because of the reflection on the CD. Um, yeah what was I saying? Oh yeah try not to let it 
Mac it doesn't make any difference but try not to let it get on the bottom of the shoe if you're doing the same as I am because um, I'm going to take it off and sand it anyway and You know, it's just a waste of um, what we call it. It's just a waste of wash if you do that. But it's only a little bit, so I do not know why I mentioned it. Oh, there's the, the big fellas are done. In fact, I probably wasted more wash there than you would on the bottom of the shoe. Um, so sometimes I do say things before I think of it, before I think what I'm talking about. But looking forward to seeing how these dry up and then we can um, we'll just start the highlight process. Which will be fun. Right. These are all dried now. They're looking a little glossy, as you can see. But we have a different background on this one, as you can tell. We have, well, I have rather, finally got round to setting up my um, spray booth. Um, I got for my birthday a couple of weeks ago. So. I'm just going to give this a try for this particular video and see. I'm not spraying anything, I'm using hand paints, but um, painting as I usually do. But I just thought we'll give this a try and see if it's any easier or any better painting using this than it would be using um, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The mat with those lights that I've been using. So, <coughs> um, we're going with the highlight colour again, which, a quick reminder, is Screaming Skull. So, we'll get the Screaming Skull, and we're going to pop this onto the palette, like so. And we will go into the... Screaming Skull and we will add some of this red into it. Now this is a Wazdaka red which is quite a dark red and we don't want it as dark as it was. We want a good, well, a little bit of a bit more paleness into it. So let's see how this looks. Is this? In fact, this is the one we're doing. Um, as the um, original flip. This look doesn't look too bad. In fact, I'm doing it wrong anyway because I'm not, I'm not up to the highlighting stage yet. I'm up to the main coat stage. So, let's just wipe off what I've just done as best as we can. There we are. Go back into the Wasdaka Red and then start again. We'll get there eventually. Sorry about on the front starts with this, I'm just yeah. I'm just a bit thrown I think because everything now is a new thing that I've got to get used to. And uh, you know I'm so used to doing things a certain way, changing things throws me a little. So, I've just got to get used to this way of doing things now. It won't take me long. So, we once again we're applying this colour 
everywhere except in the recesses. Um, this is to show the actual colour of the um, that we're painting. So any of these areas where there's not much in the line of um, a recess we're going to paint with this colour. Anywhere where it looks as though there is a recess and we can actually, we don't need to necessarily mean to paint every single part of this mini with this colour as long as the majority is painted in this colour like in 90-95% coverage if you get me drift um, like I said we're just trying to give this the colour as being the one that the that it actually is and not a highlight so we've given the base colour then we've washed it to put the, the uh, shadows in and the depth in it and now we're applying that base colour once more that's basically what we're doing so um, we have to treat this as a mid-tone colour meaning it goes almost everywhere as I, but as I said except for the shadow areas now some people paint this way other people may not there's no hard and fast rule to say this is how it should be done and I'm so I'm just gonna realize that I've oops, it's only hanging on by a thread let's take this off and give it some more stickiness because it's not looking it's not acting as it should so I'll just skim through this bit hopefully that will do the job right back into the was Dacker Red and as I said once again we continue to apply the base colour and as I was saying some people paint this way other people have their own another way of painting this is the way I like it um, I'm not saying it's the correct way I'm just saying it's a way of doing it um, it's uh, you know to me it gives a very nice finish we can actually see what the colour is supposed to be when you're not trying to guess um, I suppose most people paint in a variation of this way uh, but make it look slightly different you know, it's, I don't uh, I don't watch a lot of painting videos these days and uh, I know I should but I try to do my own way of doing things Serastro is probably the only one I really watch the painting video the painting videos now and always certain videos I don't watch all of them um, but I tend more to watch um, terrain making videos and various crafting videos will turn in and stuff like that these days I'm getting, to quite, getting quite interested in that kind of thing working it with resin um, not something I've ever tried it's something I wouldn't mind having a bash at but you know it's something to look at in the future there we go, so that's one of the ones done and this is the one where we just chat no, well, this is the one where I just put the high speed on 
and just like you listen to some music. That is about what I'm going to be doing for him. Now, as I said earlier, I'm going to do something with that. I think I'm going to use it, do something similar for a pattern on these. I'm not sure yet. It depends on how I can work it. Um, now we have another red that we need to highlight, which is this one. This is the, obviously the um, Rambant. Now again, I'm trying hard to keep away from anywhere where there is deep shadow. So I'm just going down the middle of the things and Go down the edge and around the edge there is um, like a, a bit of a ridge. So we can do that and keep a little bit of this with the shadow area. Done, we're fine. That's one done. And now there's the second one. This one's a little bit bigger. area is done so now what we need to do is the um, flesh now the flesh I'm going to do slightly different than I usually do flesh um, I'm not going to be using a um, fact, let's try it first go on the safe side before I make any decision now some of the green, pop some of the Ujit on. So let's just not be hasty about things, let's see how it looks. Okay, like that. Um, I'm doing it like this because the green wash that we put on isn't showing up. So I'm using the, the actual base colour that we put on as the shadow colour and I'm using this colour which I've decided now I don't like it looks okay at first but I've gone off it so no um, so what I'm going to use instead if I can find it to go to I'm not sure. I'm not 
I'm not sure if I've got any left. That's the annoying thing. I don't think I have. I'm using green. No, I don't want that one. Um, white stone green. I don't want that one. Ah, here we are. Foreign Forest. That's what we're going to do. And this is going to be our layer palette, uh, layer colour. So this is the one that's going on as the actual mint colour of the orcs themselves. And then we'll highlight, we'll lighten this one to create highlights. Because as I said, the, um, unfortunately the uh, wash didn't work the way I was hoping. So this is what we'll do. It's a similar tone, but it is a little brighter than what we just used. The so it does work quite well with this um, carnivan green. And again, putting this everywhere except for. Um, deep recesses. There we go. So actually I create the 3D effects with this. Uh, well not the 3D effects but um have to try and be sympathetic to the shape of the um mini is what I'm trying to say. Um, so when you see any word that is is flat or raised, oops, you put this down, um, and then that way, this is the colour. I've said this before. I'll say it again. It's just to make sure that I'm getting the message across because sometimes. I have difficulty with that part and people don't seem to understand what I'm trying to say. So we're doing these legs first, what there is of them anyway. Um, now these, uh, this is going to look a little bit stranger than the others because it's not covering a wash but well not stranger but a little different or at least it might do but if I do it right it's not going to it's not going to stand out at all um as I said the base coat in this is the wash so what we need to do is make sure that we leave some areas, especially on a leg like this where it's very ambiguous where the shadow should be, we make sure that we just leave some anyway. So now we get onto the front part. We have this quite large chest muscle. muscle. And collar muscle. I don't know what the muscles are. Um, I cannot for the way remember from when I took O level um, biology, God knows how many years ago. I've just turned 52 and I took all of biology when I was, oh uh, god, what are you, 16, 17? So since I took that, I've slept once or twice. Um, so as I said, unfortunately I don't remember 
all the details, but <clears throat> it's because I've lost practice with it. It's not that I wasn't interested. Um, you know, just I've not used that bit of knowledge for a long time. So. <clears throat> like everything else, if you don't keep them, if you don't practice things, it goes. And I think that's a little something of what's happened with me with painting. Because uh, once I moved in here, I was busy doing stuff. I stopped painting for a long time, and it's just trying to get back into the habit of doing it. Um, so... Um, when I do get back into the habits, things happen and stop me doing it every now and again. A bit like the, I mean, it's from Stair Saga, I was plodding away quite happily on them, and then I don't know what happened, but for some reason I just stopped. <clears throat> I will finish them off. Don't worry about that. <laughs> You've not seen the last of them, I promise. We have lots and lots of minis to do on that. So, I'm gonna add. Quite a bit of um, this mid tone over this mini because it's, it's quite big and bulky. <laughs> 